guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna just show you this kind of bronzy glowy tutorial so basically I'm taking my Too Faced um, semi sweet palette and I'm gonna take um, mousse which is kind of like the light brown color in the palette and just take this on a Morphe kind of like tapered brush tapered blending brush and just blend that right into my crease And then on this same brush, I'm going to take the color Truffled from the same palette and just put that just right below Mousse and basically just blend them together. And if you want to see how I um, do my eyebrows, I just filmed a brow routine, which will I'll be linking down below. So now I just take a fluffy blending brush and blend those two colors together. And then I'm going to take Truffled once again on kind of like a fluffy shader brush and just put that on my lid. And then I'm going to take the color Licorice from the same palette with a angled fluffy brush and just put that as if I'm putting like black eyeliner. And I'm just going to wing it out just because I just like that type of look. Now I just applied lashes off camera, but they are, I think, like, biggest. I, I'll link them down below or put the name down below. Um, but now I'm just moisturizing my face, um, and I'm using a Pods moisturizer. It's my favorite moisturizer ever. And then I'm just going to take the NYX Born to Glow um, primer, which will make my skin very glowy. Now I'm just taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I really like the cover of this foundation. It's really nice. I love it but I just picked the wrong color so it's like way too white for me. So that's why I, I kind of look really pale in this um, video is because this foundation is just really light. And I'm just using kind of like a triangle sponge because I had to throw out my other um, Real Technique sponge because it was just so dirty. So I'm just using this right now. Now I'm just using the NYX um, HD concealer and this is like my go-to concealer and I barely had like any left so I was like scraping the sides but I'm just going to blend this in with a small little Ulta Beauty Blender which we'll see in the next clip. Now I'm just taking the Laura Mercier powder, translucent powder, and I'm just pressing this um, wherever I put concealer, which I only just showed you um, under my eyes, but I put it everywhere else I put concealer, and I like pressing it in instead of baking, um, because I feel like my makeup looks a little bit more cakey when I do bake, 
So I've been just playing around with baking and just pressing powder in and I just like how it looks when the powder is pushed into my skin instead of baking on my face. And then I just take that powder with this flat top kabuki brush and I just pat that all over my face because I like my foundation to be um, not sticky. I don't want it to feel like wet. And I'm just taking the Anastasia contour kit and using Java and Fawn and I'm just going to contour my face um, and kind of like bronze it in a way. Um, so and I'm just using this really big fluffy brush. I like using fluffier brushes to contour and bronze. I just feel like it warms the face, makes the face more like warm if you use a fluffier brush. Plus it looks more natural in my opinion. Now I'm just going to take this Milani blush and this is in Berry Amour I'm pretty sure and I'm just taking it on a blush brush and then I'm going in with highlighter which I'm using this NYX highlighter in Twilight Tint and this is a really pretty highlighter but it's kind of not too natural looking. Um, it's like very white so if you like this highlighters this is a really good one for you plus this is really affordable and it is so pretty. Basically, I'm just going to finish off the eyes with putting eyeshadow on and mascara and eyeliner, which I didn't put a clip of, but it was NYX White Eyeliner, and it's a really good eyeliner. I do recommend it, um, so I'm just finishing off the eyes. Now I'm just going in with some lip liner and this is the NYX lip liner in um, Nude Beige. This is like my go-to liner. And then I'm just going to top it off with a ColourPop. Um, gloss. I'm not sure what the name is but because the name rubbed off but if I can find it I will put it down below and basically that's it for this look um, it was really easy to do so um, it's really easy to follow so I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it so I'll see you next time bye